If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 17 ratings reveal video. Guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at is the top five defensive ends for Madden 17 to start the season. Again, guys, just like I've been saying throughout each video throughout the series, I just want to reiterate these are not their ultimate team attributes. So these are not going to be their base elite cards or anything like that. This is strictly for franchise mode, standard play now games, head-to-head uh, -head online, things like that where you're playing with the base cards or the base attributes that the players have, excuse me, uh, not within ultimate team. So I hope that makes sense. Again, we're probably going to go under the assumption that most of these guys or all of these guys who are in the top five are going to be pretty close to that within Ultimate Team to start the season, but we don't know for sure, so let's not get too particular about that. But with that being said, guys, let's hop into the top five. We're going to start off at number five with the New York Giants right end, Olivier Vernon. Now, Olivier Vernon is definitely one of the better pass rushers in the game right now, uh, and definitely you're getting some of those attributes with his with his player here. Um, if you take a look at some of these attributes that he has, the 87 acceleration combined with the 81 speed means that he's going to get after the quarterback pretty darn quickly. Uh, and if you consider the fact that he's also got a 97 for a power move, that's going to be very dominant as well. He also has a 95 block shed. So not only is he going to be able to stop the uh, or go after the quarterback, he's also going to be able to stop the run. His finesse move is only an 80, although keep in mind most of the players in this game are either going to have a good finesse move or a good power move. Most of the guys don't have a great combination of both. So just keep that in mind. Again, really nice player here. I mean, the Giants are getting a really nice player here with Olivier Vernon. So definitely a good one to start off the top five. Now let's move on to number four, and the Green Bay Packers are going to represent here with Mike Daniels. Now, Mike Daniels is a 92 overall. He's not going to blow you away with really any one attribute, maybe with the exception of his finesse move being a 96. I mean, that's definitely very good. The only problem with Mike Daniels is that he does only have 75 speed. Now, keep in mind, again, this is not ultimate team, so most of the defensive ends are not going to be hyper speed, but still... 97 uh, or 96 for a finesse move you would think would mean that the guy is typically going to be kind of a quicker player we don't see what his acceleration is but we do know that his 75 speed is definitely very low um, the other thing here that I want to point out guys we see the strength being an 88 which is solid it's not great he does have 86 pursuit as well um but one other thing that's on here listed that's uh, not on this actual graphic is that he also has a 90 for block shedding. So he is going to be able to go after the running backs as well on those rundowns. So this is a pretty interesting player. Uh, I do like the fact that he has such a nice finesse move. But again, maybe a little bit disappointing in the lack of speed. Now let's move on now to number three, another NFC East defensive end. This is Brandon Graham, 92 overall for the Philadelphia Eagles, and I think he's a little bit better than Mike Daniels in as far as these player attributes go. Now, he he's actually more of a power move guy versus a finesse move guy, but if you look at the fact that he has an 87 for a finesse move and a 97 for power move, I mentioned before, most of the guys are not going to be able to be good at both of those things. He is definitely one who is good at both. So that's a big advantage that Brandon Graham brings to you. He does also have an 87 for acceleration and an 80 for speed. So pretty good on both of those attributes. 91 pursuit as well. So definitely a good player. Now, the one thing that we don't see on here is what his his actual block shed is. So in those running downs, he might be somewhat of a detriment. We really don't know yet based on what we see here within these attributes. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you think about Brandon Graham? Give me like a rough estimate on what you think his block shedding should be to start the year. Now let's move on to number two, and this is one who I think, despite the fact that he's the second best defensive end in the game, I think he's a little bit underrated. I have to be completely honest with you, man. I think that Jarrell Casey of the Tennessee Titans is being underrated here. Uh, you take a look at the fact, again, he is 93 overall, so he is a full attribute above the guys below him. So I don't have a problem with him being the second best defensive end. We'll, we'll talk about the guy who is the best, and I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. 
but I think that his attributes overall should make him higher. I mean, I would like to see him get a little bit of a boost in some of these things. His block shed, in my opinion, should be elite. It, I mean, it is very good at a 92, but I think it should be like a 96, 97. And then I also think his strength should be higher. I, I'm a little bit disappointed in the 91 strength, 92 block shed for Jarrell Casey. He does have a great power move at a 98. I mean, that's a dominant dominant pass rush move there a 99 for a power move man that is going to be really hard to defend for opposing offensive lines but and then, and then also he does have the 89 for play rack and also a 88 for pursuit so again really great player honestly I, I just would like to see him be like a 95 overall I mean that's my opinion Jarrell Casey is just absolutely one of the best defensive players in the game and I think that he should be have his attributes kind of show that a little bit more than they do here in this in this uh, game so far. So hopefully throughout the season, we'll see his attributes go up. But we're going to leave it last now with J.J. Watt, the number one defensive end. He's holding up the number one, as you guys can see in the graphic. Not surprising at all. I mean, J.J. Watt, most people would say, is the best defensive player in football. And I don't think there's really much of a debate on that, to be honest. I mean, this guy has been dominant since he entered the league a few seasons ago. And his attributes show it, man. 97 strength, 98 block shed, 99 power move, 92 finesse move, and a 97 pursuit. There is not a single thing to be disappointed in here on those attributes, man. Those are really good attributes. Now, the one thing that we don't see here is his speed and his acceleration. So... I, I'm going to have to imagine that he has good acceleration. I don't know that he's going to have top-end speed, however. J.J. Watt's quick, but he's not necessarily the fastest player on the field. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it'll be real interesting to see kind of where he ranks as far as the actual speed attribute. Again, we typically worry a little bit more about acceleration than we do speed with defensive ends. But still, it's it's something to look at anyway. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out here that it said in the article that EA Sports posted is that he also has 78 catching. So if you're somebody who, you know, potentially might want to, you know, use him on special teams or... You know, maybe you're somebody who wants to drop him into coverage. That's always an option with J.J. Watt as well. Again, we don't know what the speed is, so that could be a little bit of a problem. But if he does go out into coverage, that 78 catching, probably going to be the best among any of the defensive linemen in the game, unless I'm forgetting about somebody. So definitely a, a really nice kind of hidden attribute for J.J. Watt there. And he could be somebody who maybe you put into a QB spy and he intercepts a pass too. Something to think about anyway with Watt. I mean, this guy is 99 overall. It's not surprising at all. He's definitely one of the best players in, in this game. So it's going to be exciting to play with J.J. Watt, of course, like it always is. But I want to hear from you guys. I can almost guarantee you that people in the comment section are going to be saying so-and-so got left off this list. And I agree. I'm not going to drop any specific names here. Actually, you know what? Yes, I am. One of the players that absolutely got left off this, and I don't understand why, is Khalil Mack. Now, look, I understand Khalil Mack is a young guy, and maybe he's not, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what he did to not be put in the top five. I mean, the guy's been elite, right? Like, am I missing something here? Is it possible that maybe they're putting him as an outside linebacker? I mean, I know that in Mutt last year, to start the year, he started off as an outside linebacker, and then I believe they moved him to a defensive end, so they eventually got it right. I mean, is it possible that they're putting him back as an outside linebacker? I, I really don't know. That's the only thing I can think of, because in my opinion, Cleo Mack should be on here. Elite speed, elite acceleration, strength. I mean, the guy has just about everything that you would look for. I'm astonished that he's not on here, to be honest with you. I, I would have to think that his attributes should make him at least a 92 overall. So he should be ahead of Olivier Vernon. And again, that's no disrespect to Vernon. It's just Mac had such a ridiculous year last year. So I don't know, man. I, I got to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? I mean, was Khalil Mack left off here for some specific reason that I'm not thinking of? I mean, do you guys think he should be in the top five? Am I crazy here uh, to, to point that one out? I mean, there's others as well. I want to hear from you guys as well. Let me know in the comment section below who got left off this list that shouldn't have. Because there are a bunch of guys, in my opinion. I want to hear from you guys. You got to let me know in the comment section below. And also, guys, be sure to drop a like on this video. If you enjoyed it, help me out. 
hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And guys, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're going to be continuing to bring you guys as many of these top five videos as we can until they're done, man. I mean, it sounds like they're going to continue on here. I'm going to guess that tomorrow is going to be probably outside linebackers, probably maybe inside linebackers. So maybe we'll get to take a look at those players. But uh, for the meantime, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know who got left off and uh, who do you think should be on here and if they're going to be on there which one of these guys should have gotten dropped off which one of the top five guys is not worthy of being the top five if you're putting somebody else in the top five let me know in the comment section below guys thanks again hope you enjoyed it drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you guys again soon